Now let's talk about nutrition and human health. That's the topic of chapter two. Chapter two of oral communication, college oral communication book one. And uh, our academic focus is on science and particularly on nutrition. I guess you can see the picture at the top with different kinds of food there, right? So what are some of the kinds of food that you see in the picture? Do you see any fish? F-I-S-H. How about shrimps? S-H-R-I-M-P-S. -S, shrimps. Do you see meat? M-E-A-T. Maybe you'll say that's ham. H-A-M. Or beef. B-E-E-F. I also see some fruit, different kinds of fruit. How about bananas? Do you see any bananas? B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas. And an apple, I see an apple, A-P-P-L-E. Um, and in front of that basket, what's that? It's a pineapple, P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E. -P -P -E. It's a pineapple. I think it's not in color, so I can't be sure, but it looks like there might be some oranges, O-R-A-N-G-E-S, oranges. Um, and next to that, it looks like a turnip, T-U-R-N-I-P, turnip. And next to the turnip, I see some cabbage, C-A-B-B-A-G-E, cabbage. Um, do you see the celery? Where is that? Over on the right. C-E-L-E-R-Y. Celery. Um, and in the front, do you see any garlic? G-A-R-L-I-C. Garlic. Maybe some nuts. N-U-T-S. Nuts. And um, it looks like there might be some bread. B-R-E-A-D. Bread. I think you're getting hungry now, right? So let's change the subject to the objectives. Let's look at the academic listening and speaking objectives. In this chapter, we'll continue to develop, you will continue to develop your listening and speaking skills. As you know, your skills as an academic listener and speaker. And you'll hear a short lecture about um, nutrition. So remember last chapter was about music and you heard from a music professor, and this time you're gonna hear from a nutritional science professor. So she'll be giving a lecture at the beginning of her nutrition course. You'll learn to pr pronounce academic vocabulary, and you'll practice discussing topics related to food and human health. You'll participate in listening, speaking, and thinking activities. In particular, you'll develop vocabulary and expressions to discuss food, nutrition, and health. You'll use a dictionary to pronounce new words or to learn the pronunciation of words by looking at the pronunciation symbols in your dictionary. You'll hear, identify, and pronounce key vocabulary with proper syllables and word stress. You'll hear, write, and express quantities containing numbers. You'll hear and pronounce plural noun endings with s Z and is. They're not different. They're the same as the s, z, and is in third person singular present tense verbs. But as you know, you still need a lot more practice with that s ending or es ending in English because maybe some of you have languages where we don't pronounce that, but in English, very, very common. And we have to find out when to use the s, z, and is endings. What else? You'll repeat and rephrase information for confirmation or clarification and to enhance comprehensibility. You'll ask questions using how much da 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 is there and how many da 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 are there. You ask and answer questions about food and nutrition and you'll relate the context of the lecture that you hear to your personal food consumption. You know consumption? That's a noun. The verb is consume. We talk about consuming food and drink. That means to eat and drink. Consume. The person is a consumer and the action is consumption. And you'll take dictation of sentences related to health and nutrition. Is that a good idea? Okay, let's do it. <laughs>